Hi, today I want to talk to you about five work at home jobs that pay $100 a day. There are tons of different jobs that you can do from home and hopefully this will help you with your research. These are jobs that I, I, I know that sometimes people want to make sure they make a certain amount of money um, before they pursue it because some of these jobs do involve some training before you start them. Nothing horrendous and you can be guaranteed about $100 a day if not more. So we're going to go ahead and go through those. One of the things I want you to check before we start this is down below, I have a business startup guide. These are the things that you need to do when you start a business. I don't care what business it is. It could be um, watching dogs for people and nothing online. It could be babysitting, anything. If you start a business and you fill out your taxes um, on the Schedule C, there are certain things that you need in place. So in that startup guide, it lays it all out for you. I even put a little bonus at the end where I gave a template where you could start tracking your expenses because that's very important when you start a business. So definitely click the link. It's free. I just asked for your email address so I can send it to you. Okay, so it's called the Business Startup Guide. I just wanted to point that out for those of you that don't stick around very long. All right, so let's look at number one. One. Number one is bookkeeper. You could become a bookkeeper online. Many, there's there's a couple of ways you can do this. First of all, I want you to see this, this link. I just Googled uh, training for bookkeeper. Uh, if you have no training and you want to make sure you have specific training, you could take up to a two-year course at a college, or you could go online. There's some mini courses that you could take in four months. If you're really good with numbers and you understand bookkeeping and you're very organized, I would not recommend taking the college course, honestly. If you're green and you have no idea, then I would recommend it. I'm, you know, you have to look, but do some research. But you could keep finances organized for someone. Maybe you're not quite the accountant, but you could organize and track the expenses for somebody and keep that Excel sheet. So if you're familiar with Excel, Excel sheets and things like that, um, definitely this would be something that you could make money at. People who are bookkeepers usually make about $20 an hour. If you're really good at what you do, you could make more. Now, you could do this online, um, but there's an another way you could get customers. You could go to fiverr.com and offer your services as a freelancer or Upwork or something like that. Or go into your local community and ask them, do you have somebody to take care of your bookkeeping? Or is there anything that, um, any services that I could do for you from my home online? This is becoming more and more popular. People are working from home helping brick and mortar businesses. So um, go out, don't be afraid to go out and ask your local people, lo people in your local community, if they need help, you could still do it from home. Look at dental offices, medical, um, urgent care, things like that. Every business out there needs help with bookkeeping. My husband and I ran a, a shop, uh, an ice cream shop at one time, and every single night after I came home, I had to do all the bookkeeping. I had to track all of that. It was it was horrendous trying to do everything. We, we did the whole business ourselves, but that was a very, very important part. Um, back then, um, you didn't have so many services available online, but that would have definitely have been something I would have outsourced for somebody else to do. All right, number two is um, a transcriber. And I'm gonna look at medical transcribing specifically. Transcribing means listening to somebody's audio. So let's say I'm a doctor and I'm trying to, um, you know, after I see a patient, I just want to, you know, write my notes. Well, a lot of doctors, what they do instead, will put it onto an audio on tape recorder and then they give it to a transcriber who will listen and type it and actually you know, put that on paper for them into text. But a person that does medical transcribing would have to be familiar with coding and um, billing and medical coding and stuff like that. There are courses out there. I think years and years and years ago, I looked into this actually myself. Um, the only thing that you had to buy was a transcriber machine. It was a certain machine. And then the second thing was, I think it was back then like an 18 month course. I was looking now and I think there was a couple courses that were only like six months. So it wouldn't take you that long to get the skills you need to become a medical transcriber. Now, other types of transcribing, you might do transcribing for um, maybe there are 
uh, people who have conferences or, um, you know, look at some of the small businesses around you again and ask them, is this a service that I could provide for you? You could also go into transcribing in the courthouse. Um, it's a court stenographer. I guess that would be different, but you're listening and you're transcribing. So that's, that's kind of the thing. It's called a, a court stenographer. It's a little bit different, but that's another job that's similar, but you're not doing it at home. You're doing it in the office. Um, you're, well, you're taking the notes from, I take that back. You're taking the notes from somebody who sat in the courthouse and typed them. And then the next person would type them up into the court docs for them. So you could do it at home. All right. I wouldn't call it online though. It's just an uh, at home job. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, and they make about $30 an hour average. Now, number three, it's kind of interesting. Um, you already heard there's, you could answer phones for people. You could answer emails for people, stuff like that. But what about being a chat customer service person? So you know how you're online and they'll say, well, just chat us right now. You could be that person on the other end. Now, of course, you want to connect with a company that hires out people that do that, or you could eventually create your own business and, and promote yourself. But they typically will answer the chat. Um, live chat jobs, here's a, um, a site that I found that you can actually go in and look for jobs through this company or they can help you get started. So Google it, but it's called Chat Customer Service and you just answer chats. And typically they make about $15 an hour. So again, if you're really good, maybe they have some kind of, um, they pay by how many calls that you answer, something like that, I don't know. Um, but you could, as you have done it for a while and prove yourself to be good, you can always make more money than that. All right, so let's go to number five. Number five, you can make way more than $100 a day. You can make $100 an hour, $10,000 a month, and it's a course creator. Or it's number four, I apologize. Number four, an online course creator. You can go to a company um, like the one I have here. I'll have the link below. It'll say course creator, and you can actually create courses for yourself and sell them, or you can create courses for other people and sell that service. So you could do it either way. This could be a lucrative business, especially if you're already a teacher, you're already into education, you're already used to doing this stuff, or maybe you're really good with PowerPoints and graphic design and things like that. But Teachables um, has a, they have a conference coming up in 10 days. <laughs> It'll be gone by the time you see it. But anyway, you can go in and use a course creator uh, software like this and create your courses and store them there. And then you can have other people make them for other people, make them for yourself. But typically people will make, um, 5,000 to $10,000 a month doing this. So it's lucrative, definitely something to look into if you feel like that's a skill that you have. And, you know, even if you don't, you can start out small, maybe sell, courses that are uh, mini courses, sell them for less money. And again, even offer that for other people, kind of test it. Uh, you know, if you make a course yourself and then sell it and it, and it, a lot of people like it, then that tells you, you know, I'm not too bad at this. So then you can start promoting your services for other people. Again, you can go through fiverr.com. Um, that's a freelance company, or you can promote yourself. Just start a YouTube channel and, and, and talk about yourself and what you create and what you do, start a website, things like that. It just depends on how involved you want to get. You don't have to do all that. You can still go through another organization and let them promote you. All right. The last one is very, very, very popular and it's called virtual assistant. And what does a virtual assistant do? Well, you see all these people starting businesses, making money online and all kinds of different businesses. They need help. Nobody can 100% do everything themselves if they want to grow. You can only get so big, there's only so many hours in the day. So what they'll do is have people help them with some basic tasks like answering emails or maybe answering their chat, uh, their bot, the free, uh, the messenger, Facebook messenger, the bot. Um, they may have them checking some of their funnels or things like that. There's a lot of different jobs. People could create their funnels for them. So as a virtual assistant, you have to think about what is it that I could do? And, you know, look through here, even if you don't use fiverr.com, again, the links below, even if you don't use this company um, to promote yourself, but kind of open up and see what other people are offering. Like, what are they offering? Like this person, one of them, most of these are $10 and you're thinking, well, those are cheap. This lady here, I will 
pin, do Pinterest marketing, be your virtual assistant. She's offering to probably just post everything for you. Let's open it up. So even if you're good on social media, you could be a virtual assistant to help people post. So there's all kinds of different things. Her basic says in 15 days, I will, um, give you 14 days of social media management, schedule posts and full-time engagement. So she's going to schedule all your media for you in 14 days and then engage with people as well. Now you need to have your posts ready, obviously, or maybe she does it for you. I don't know. Um, let's look at her standard and I'm just giving you an example. Um, she'll do it for a month for 165. She'll do 10 posts a day. There you go. That one's a little bit more specific, but I will post 10 posts a day for 28 days. So that's over, um, 280 posts for $165 and you don't have to mess with it. And it's for Pinterest and then premium. Um, she'll post 15 a day for 195. So it's even cheaper. So something to look at if you're good at posting, you love Pinterest and it's something you've been on. Wouldn't it be fun to get paid to post for somebody else? So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, other things, um, in virtual assistant, again, you can use a, pr a platform like this to promote yourself, or you can promote yourself through YouTube, Facebook, um, things like that and start your own business and your own website and, and just promote yourself as a business. You have to brand yourself and do all that. So it just depends on how involved you want to get. All right. So those were the five things. If one of these piqued your interest, tell me below which one sounds interesting to you. If you have more information to add to any of those five different things that I just went over, please feel free to, to go ahead and put your link below. Tell us, um, which one you've been doing and how successful you've been. I have no problem with that. Um, or, you know, give some tips to people, um, within those five realms, if you don't mind and give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and definitely subscribe to my channel. I am here to help you earn money, save time and find balance in your life. So hopefully you'll follow me and I can help you achieve those three things. And until then I'll see you on the next video.